Welcome back to another insect effect video. We're going to talk about the important roles insects play in decomposition and nutrient recycling. To understand these concepts, let's start off by talking about food webs. Food webs identify relationships within an ecosystem and trace energy flow between each position in the web, creating trophic bubbles. Every ecosystem has a different food web, but let's use a typical Florida swamp here as an example. The first level of any web is light energy from the sun. This light provides the energy used by plants, the primary producers of the web, to make fuel through photosynthesis. In a Florida swamp, this could be any underwater plant or algae. The next level constitutes whatever consumer eats these plants and gains energy from it, like fish. Then the subsequent levels are made up of secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, and so on as organisms are eaten by other organisms. This line of living, living consumption ends with an apex predator. In Florida swamps, this is usually an alligator. But there's another integral part of every food web. The decomposers. These organisms act as nature's cleanup crew by consuming dead or dying plants, dead animals, and animal feces. This consumption takes the dead matter and waste left behind from every food web and recycles it into nutrients that can be used again. This step, that many insects are a part of, is what makes food webs a cycle. Let's take a look at some common insect decomposers here in Florida. Blowflies and carrion beetles consume dead meat. Termites consume dead wood. Dung beetles consume animal feces. And mayflies consume decaying plant material. Now we can dive into each different function of insect decomposers a little more. Bugs that feed on dead plants accelerate decay by exposing plants to decomposition. They can do this by shredding and eating leaves and other plant materials, and by tunneling into plant tissues. Both of those actions catalyze plant decay, which eventually results in nutrient-rich humus that makes soils healthy. To understand how bugs help decompose dead animals, we must take a look at the life cycles of holometabolous insects which are bugs that undergo transformations. For this example, we'll take a look at a flesh fly, which feeds on dead animals. The four main stages of life are egg, larva, pupa, and adult fly. Eggs are laid on or in dead animals, where they hatch and turn into larvae. These larvae eat the dead matter and recycle its nutrients. Once the larvae grow enough, they crawl away from the carcass, burrow into soil, and transform. The adult fly emerges. After it reproduces, it will seek out more dead animals to lay its eggs on and thus continue the cycle. These types of insects are used in forensic entomology, a growing field that uses bugs to help solve criminal investigations. When these bugs are found at a crime scene, the stage of life they're at can help detectives estimate the time and date that the crime occurred. The last type of decomposer insect is attracted to poop, where it will lay its eggs and the larvae will feed on the feces. The most iconic example of this is the dung beetle, which does one of three things with poop depending on the species. It rolls it into a ball, buries it underground in tunnels, or lives in it. So, why are these insects so important? Let's review some of their many uses. First, by tearing into plants, they advance plant decomposition and help create nutrients. They also recycle dead animal matter into nutrients by feeding on it. This can help police solve crimes as well. By eating dead plants and animals and feces, they overall remove a ton of waste from our ecosystems. Without them, there would be a lot more waste in our world. 